Hi everybody, today we're, today we're going to be working on a poor man's food pantry lunch. So uh, let me show you what I'm making today. So these are the things that you'll want for this. A lime is optional. If you get one, I got one from the food bank. So I'm going to use it and then I store bought this onion. You'll want whole kernel of corn. You'll see this has no salt added. So you're going to get a lot of that at the food pantry. Garbanzo beans, but you can also use any other bean. Black bean works really well. And then diced tomatoes. This one is also no salt added. And that's why I'm going to be adding quite a bit of salt. I'll also be putting pepper and garlic powder, cumin, and whatever spicy thing you have. I have red pepper flakes, but you can use chili powder too. Start by obviously checking the tops make sure they're clean and opening up your cans my can opener likes to shred the paper um but whatever you got will work no need to spend 15 dollars on a new can opener just make it work get all those paper shreds off and then i'm going to drain this in the sink but you don't need to see my sink full of dirty dishes so i'll do it off camera and I'll bring it back. Like I said, my can opener's kind of janky, but you got to do what you got to do. So let's pry this lid off here. And we're just going to dump this into the bowl. We'll make sure there's no little pieces of paper attached to it. I mean, if there is extra fiber, right? Okay, now you're going to do the same thing with the garbanzo beans and drain them, but you're not going to drain the diced tomatoes. Dump the garbanzo beans in there. If you're using black beans, you'll probably want to rinse them so that there's less of the kind of gooeyness. And then the diced tomatoes. You got salsa? Use salsa. That'll make it a lot faster and you won't have to add as many spices. I'm adding quite a bit of salt because a lot of this was unsalted. And then some pepper. You can do it up to your flavor requirements. Garlic powder. And I'll add that if you don't have a fresh onion to dice up, you can add onion powder here. And it won't be as bulky in your tummy, but um, the flavor will be good. Cumin. And then whatever hot stuff you got. I got red pepper flakes. You could use chili pepper or chili powder, or you could use hot sauce. Whatever you want to make it just a little bit spicy to your liking. Give it a quick stir to get those juices mixing up with the spices while you do the other parts of the preparation. So I'm going to cut my lime in half and... Um, I'll, I'm going to squeeze it over, but I'm just showing you real quick on the camera and I'll finish squeezing it off camera because that's a lot of time that you don't need to watch me squeezing limes. We're going to cut up our onion. Waste very little, so just the very ends off. And then I chop onion in half. Yes, this is a weird bread knife. And then I only get rid of the very, very thin outer um, layer. In better economic times, sometimes we get rid of a little bit more, but you know what? We're going to use this to the best of our ability. You can save this onion peel for stock, and I do recommend that if um, you have the ability to do that. If not, don't worry. Throw it away. Whatever you need to do. Compost it. Even give it to the chickens, even though they say not to, because then your eggs will taste like onions. I say whatever, pre-flavoring. <laughs> they don't actually taste like onions. All right, so now we're gonna do a pretty fine dice. 
because you don't want big chunks of onion to uh, mix in with this because you don't want to just get huge chunks to chew through. It makes it a little too bitter or spicy. So just a nice fine dice. We're going to do the whole small onion. And I'll finish squeezing that lime into the bowl as well. And uh, then we'll start mixing it up. If you can get this mixed up in the morning, it'll give it more time for all the flavors to mix together, but it's just fine to do it right before lunch. I'm going to give it a taste and see how it is, see if it needs anything. I'm trying to get my entire thumb into this frame. <laughs> it tastes good, but I think that it might need a little bit um, more salt. So I'm going to put just a sprinkle of more salt in there. That's the thing about the unsalted cans. So if you make something and you're like, wow, this tastes way different than I would normally get. It's probably because your cans of food had either no salt or reduced salt. Now let's plate it up. Sorry about the focus there. Lime really does help this go a long way. If you don't have lime, lemon, or even powdered lemon pepper, we're going to give a couple scoops of this corn and bean salad, add a couple tortillas. You could use chips instead or just eat it plain. So here's our lunch and um, you can put the corn and uh, bean stuff into a tortilla and just eat it kind of like a taco or you can eat it with chips or you can eat it plain if you have other things to go with it. But it's got protein and veggies and stuff and it's actually pretty tasty. It's kind of like mixing beans with pico de gallo. So enjoy and uh, stay frugal. Bye guys.